we're talking about uh, the doc group by method, uh, particularly split, apply, combine in pandas when we're working with data frames, doing um, data munging or cleaning or exploratory data analysis. So here I have my VS Code open and a terminal, and I have made up a little data frame here. And this data frame has just two columns. I have uh, some animals, uh, tiger, kangaroo, canine, jackal, T-Rex, and oviraptor. The first four of those are mammals, and the last two are dinosaurs. Uh, I have a print statement here. Let's go ahead and just take a look at this data frame. Um, I have saved this file just as delete me dot pi since i'm just playing around here a little bit on my desktop i've navigated to that directory using my terminal and if i go ahead and execute this file i have that print statement i can see that this data frame actually does show me uh the index right i have z uh the value zero through five i have my six names and the type of my six corresponding animals so um, the first thing that we're going to want to do is we want to actually replace this print statement with that group by method. So if I am to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say just, let's call this uh, grouped animals. And I'm going to call this uh, my data frame name dot my grouped by method. And I'm going to need a parameter here. And I want to group these together by their type and as per usual I'd like to go ahead and just take a look at what that might look like print grouped animals I'll go ahead and save that and then come over to my console run that again and um, right this actually tells me that I have an error in my method and that is because I have called grouped by and not group by, just a foolish uh, typo there. Let's give that a save, let's give that another world. Um, and we could see when we print that, it says, oh, this is some pandas.core.groupby.generic.data frame, data frame group by object at some uh, hash, uh, hexadecimal hash table uh, memory location. Not particularly useful to me. So to actually look at the way that my animal or my grouped, uh, this group by object, after I've done this, this grouped animals object now, uh, I'm gonna do that in a loop by iterating. And I'm gonna go ahead and say for name and group in grouped animals. I'm going to want to print first a name and second I'm going to want to print my group. Now I'm going to go ahead and save that. I shouldn't have any issues. So again I'll come over, I'll clean up my workspace, go ahead and execute that file. And now I can indeed see that my data frame has been split into two groups and it is grouped by the two different types. And uh, I can actually get a little bit of vision. You'll notice that the index values from the uh, original data frame remain, as do the names and uh, the type, and would any other columns of a data frame that exist here. Each row would maintain and stay intact with all of the original information from the data frame. You'll also notice that uh, this has dinosaurs listed first, mammals listed second, and you might be curious why that is. And that's simply because this group by method automatically sorts uh, based on the different levels or factors in the column that you are grouping by. And in this case, we're dealing with a string in both of those cases, and dinosaur is earlier in the alphabet than mammal is. So that's it for this video. Go ahead and tune into the next one. We're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the apply step of split, apply, combine. And then we'll talk about uh, the last step um, as well as some lambda functions before we finish up this little video series.